It was a somber night here at UMass Dartmouth tonight on campus. The school community coming together to honor the lives of two students lost unexpectedly just days apart. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts was there and she joins us now live in Dartmouth with how those students are being remembered tonight. Amanda. Well, Mike, there was such a large turnout at that vigil that they actually ran out of candles. Students tonight mourning the loss of two of their peers, but also calling for change. Let us take this moment to honor them. A sea of candles and flashlights as hundreds honored two young lives cut short. They were both someone who loved and was loved. The UMass Dartmouth community in a candlelight vigil Monday, mourning the loss of two of their own, an art student who died unexpectedly last Friday, and 19-year-old Frank Patillo Jr., who police say was hit and killed by a driver while crossing a road on campus. Hearing the news of his passing crushed my heart alongside many others. It still doesn't feel real. Police say Patillo was crossing Ring Road Thursday afternoon when he was hit by a driver, another student who stayed on scene. These candles are our light that's connecting with his. Loved ones of the first year bioengineering student attended Monday's vigil, along with hundreds of other students, faculty and staff. One of his four sisters spoke to the crowd. This is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me and my family. He didn't deserve this, not a single bit. A tearful embrace among the family after her remarks. In the wake of the tragedy, students called for improved safety for pedestrians. The school said they've taken immediate action, making improvements like adding more speed bumps and patrols. At the spot where he was killed, a memorial is growing for the student athlete remembered for his positive energy and kind heart and unwavering love for this community. We'll honor him by living our lives the same passion, kindness and determination he showed us every day. Rest in peace, Frankie. Now tomorrow night, a community meeting is planned on campus for students to voice their concerns about safety here on campus directly to school leadership. Live in Dartmouth tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.